Welcome to two men on a dock. Welcome to three men on a dock. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so I was gonna go over a quick thing, and then Fof's gonna tell a story or something. So. Oh boy, country butts. <laughs> I was just thought it was funny. I remembered. It does do that thing where the sprite comes down at the bottom first. That's I don't so know if weird. The recording guess that though. I don't know. Yeah, because I remember when I I did that let's play like a million years ago with my one friend of Sonic Two, mm -hmm. and like. Although in that case we were using a uh, a capture card. You can play a horn drill. Just look away. Okay. Um, we're using a it's capture like, card. Like, okay. Yeah. And like on the recording, you couldn't see um Sonic's shield. Really? Yeah. Like you can't see that layer or something. It's really weird. Wait, did I get hit? What, what move? Hold on, what, what attack does it have? Uh, it has something. I gotta use a. What move would it have? Uh, I wasn't looking. Was like, oh gosh, we should have healed. You want to use a potion? Yeah, I'm gonna use a potion on our man here. Do a couple rounds. Yeah, I'll do. I'll let Gay Ge get fainted. Yeah, I don't care about Gay. We got two strong fighters. So it's oh, cool. pack. Sorry. Fucking flying type fish move. Whatever, <laughs> man. Anyway, so I was gonna say, I just remembered that I just I have this idea. I have like so many ideas of like funny game. Like ideas or story ideas that I'm gonna use at some point in my life. Okay. And like one of them, I don't even know if I would use this one. You don't use two. Whatever. There's a, po there's a Pokemon okay, right down the I'll road. Okay. I'll buy some more. Just relax. Okay. I always would like to see like someone make because you know like the trend in first person shooters in like the pet you know recent decade or whatever has been to, like be more and more realistic like quote unquote realistic right? Yeah. At least for the graphics. But I want to see a first person like a competitive first person shooter like Call of Duty. Or like Battlefield, Metal of Honor, whatever. Metal of Honor. Crotch. Metal of Honor kind of fell off now that I think about it. It's interesting. I don't know what that is, so. Okay. <laughs> there um, you go. Where it's like, it is completely realistic down to like, if like if you get shot in your like left arm, then your left arm's like dragging and you can't use it anymore. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Really? Yeah, and like, you know, you get shot in your kneecap and you like fall on the ground and you have to like crawl That'd be around. so bad. <laughs> It'd be, this is the funny thing is it wouldn't be a very good game, but it would be like so fascinating. Like, I mean... You would probably shoot someone and just watch them suffer. Yeah, you know, you could just bleed out. Like, you wouldn't suck the blood back into your body like you do in Call of Duty, <laughs> which is so stupid. Yeah. Like, from a tech... It makes sense from a gameplay standpoint, obviously. You know, it sounds really messed up. I feel like people would then have the strategy of, like, getting ahead in the kill streak and then just shoot every opponent in the arms and just, like, stall. Let them bleed out. Yeah, let them... No, not let them bleed, just stall. Yeah. they can't shoot you back because they have no arms. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. You know how weird that'd be? You could get, like, kick him. Like kick that. him to death. Yeah. <laughs> All kick without me an option. Oh boy. Or like bite him. Alright. Um, it's like the Black Knight say? from fucking Monty Python. Anyway, go ahead with your story. Here, no, not my story, but like two things. If you come here on Wednesday, um, there's a girl here who I think his name's Wendy. Do you know about the. the there's daily a girl people? and his name is Wendy, is what you just said. You know, Pokemon and Golden Silver is very, you know. Very uh, progressive. <laughs> progressive into the gender. Okay, community. but so. Yeah. Okay. A chick <laughs> so, named Wendy. Um, every, you know about, like, the daily event trainers? I think. NPCs? They're just like, they're named after, like, every day of the week. It's in my premium guide. Oh, Wendy Wednesday. Yeah. Hey. So she gives you, I think, the poison barb, which isn't important to is us. Is that a item? Yeah, it's like it's it's kind of like the miracle seed we got for a. Uh, oh, for room. poison moves. Yeah. That's weird. You know that's that sounds like, um, the equivalent of a hold item version of rough skin. That's what that, but, but it poisons you. That's what it sounds like. Like well, if you if you hold I it mean, like and get have... attacked, it would. You know what you know what <laughs> I mean? Like they kinda... have that in the competitive game. But I don't want to. It kind of sounds like that. In the TCG, but I don't want to get into that. Oh yeah, um, Pokemon but... TCG is kind of crazy. Oh, I love it. That's that's its own that's its own arc. We'll get there. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, but um, but if you check where she would be on this route, there is a secret item, and I think it's a great ball. So we should check it. Ooh, okay. Yeah, they have like these are the daily event trainers where you go up to them and they're like, "Hey, you bothered to talk to me today? Here's Ooh. a here's an item. Here's a here's a sticky barb that's covered in poison." Where where do you think she is? You have to go down. Oh, it's, it's only on Wednesday, and we set our game to fucking Sunday. Thanks, Ding Dong. <laughs> oh, I thought I was looking for an item. <laughs> no, you are, but it's like in that crevice right there. Oh, right up there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the slowpoke tail. Oh, for a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, this twelve year this thirteen year old kid. It's thirteen in the canon, right? It's in this game. It's ten. Is it? They changed it, I think, the 13 later on. Oh. I think. Some, I want to say 13 for some reason. No, yeah, I don't. You're 10-year-old boy. Then scram! You, you 10-year-old boy, you don't have a million dollars? What are you doing? <laughs> That'd be so funny if, up? like, you talk to him and it says a million dollars, the game pauses and cuts to, like, a Kickstarter video. <laughs> hey, you're right. Yep. Yep, yeah, it goes to a Kickstarter video. Hi. Slowpuck tails are very, uh, nutritious. And then it plays, like, the dun 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 ding 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 God damn it. <laughs> If you could just give me one million dollars, I'll buy a slowpoke tail. Don't worry, there are perks. If you donate ten dollars, I'll trade you my magic carp. 
<laughs> that's just how. Oh, I got the old rod. Hey. We now we can get magic arbs. I don't want a magic arb. No, we don't want a magic arb. There's so many water types. I don't know which one we're gonna get yet. You can theorize that later, but is there Lappy in this game? There is Lapras only on Fridays in the, in the next cave. <laughs> only on Fridays. Yeah. You know, Lapis Friday. Lapis. You say Lapis? <laughs> well, yeah, Lapis. The Pokemon. Lapras. La oh, Lapras. Lapras. Uh, Lapras. Well, if we get a female Lapis, I'll name it Lapras. That'll work. Do you fuck? <laughs> Do you listen to yourself talk? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> if I get a female Lapis, I will name it Lapras. <laughs> Did I say that? Yeah. Aww. Future Kami, could you play out? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do... Like a, like a game over, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> I'll do something fun. Oh boy. So let, let's start. Let's start with the uh, the the thick story of the day. Ready? Thick. So I was at. For those who don't know, I work. What <laughs> gay? <laughs> no, no, and we were. Um, I don't know if you knew about this. You know how they have the the NES Classic. You know. Oh yeah, it's kind of like a rare trader thing. And now. they're coming up with a SNES, SNES one now. Clapic. Clapic. Clapic, which I'm sure by the time this releases will be out or something. So yeah. Well, I was trying to word it in the way that doesn't. Okay, I, I get. It. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So, go ahead. so there's this thing called SNES Classic, <laughs> and we were talking about it at work because I forgot to bring it up to my coworkers, and we're just like every time we brought up like one of the games on it, I would scream about it, like <laughs> like because and I'm working like on the floor, of course, like putting stuff on the shelf. So uh, so we'd just be like. So what game's gonna be on it? And I was like, oh, um, it was, a, it was like, uh, oh, Link to the Past, I'm like, pretty good, Mario World, okay, like, Super Metroid, I'm like, SUPER METROID! <laughs> Dude, Super Metroid's great, oh, though. Oh, and then, <laughs> then we were like, Mega Man X, and I'm like, MEGA MAN X! X! Oh, you can wall jump, and there's, and there's Mango you can, Man, and- You can dash! Oh, there's a fucking chameleon! You, you can dash, dance! Oh, there's lemons, and you power sun plasma blaster! <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, and then my manager, like, we're talking about this, my manager, like, walks in, he's like, hey, Chris, what are we doing? I'm like, oh, Mega Man X! <laughs> You're like, oh, no, seriously, oh, I just, like, walk past, like, Mega Man X, and I, like, Armored Armadillo! He just looked at me, I'm like, what? what's wrong with him? And they're like, Chris, huh? you're like, dude, Fafa. Chris, Chris is losing shit. Yeah, he's like, dude, he found out about Mega Man X on the S N SNES class, like, and he comes up to me, Chris, you okay? He's like, dude, there's wall jumping! <laughs> and Mammoth can remove his fucking trunk if you shoot it with the cutter! <laughs> This is like, that was seriously me, and, and then like, and I look back and I'm like, Dude, Star Fox 2 never been released, they finished it! Wait, is that coming out? Star like... Fox 2 is Bruh! coming out. Dude, I know! We were Can we get one? <laughs> I, I'm, I, I set it up so Amazon, when it's ready for pre-release, is gonna send me an email. Oh, that's, nice! That's why I'm checking my email every day, well, I'm really excited for I this. would like to play Star Fox 2 if you do get it. Yes. Okay, here are the other games, ready? Country okay. Bad, Country Bad is hard as you can right now, Earthbound. Ooh! Earthbound, so cool, he plays a ten-year-old boy, and there's a girl with a frying pan! And when you get a bat, you get a little guy named Pooh! There's a little Squeebo! He has a gay brother! <laughs> you get to fight a man and it goes... Hippies! <laughs> Frankie has a knife, mechanical man! Why do we sound like actual SNES commercial people? Right, I know! <laughs> I didn't think about Blast that processing! <laughs> PK, PK Flash, PK Thunder, Fire! Sega Genesis, more like you're a faggot. S Super Nintendo, get in or please stay. Sega, more like Gaga. And, and then I remember hearing like 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 across like the store, I heard someone mumble like Donkey Kong Country. I pointed at him, I'm like, don't get me started. <laughs> you're like, oh, Donkey oh Kong Country, Lord. pre rendered graphics, 3D, pew, 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 Ramble the Rhino, Espresso, he's a bird, not a coffee. Also, dat soundtrack. Oh, don't get me, don't oh, get me started. Boy. <laughs> and then I looked him in the eyes and like, the one thing they're missing is Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3. This would have been the perfect system. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, if you got the whole trilogy. Yeah, what else do they have on here? Um, I'm looking at the list. Mario RPG. Bruh. Oh, Mallow, the, the, how the, much, the cloud. How much is this going to be? $80. Do they That's a good value. Yeah, I know. Mario RPG got, they got the... You can play as Bowser, you can play as Peach, you can play, play as Princess Peach, you can play as, uh, Gnomeo, or whatever. Gnomeo? <laughs> <laughs> Gnomeo, you know. Gino? Yes, Gino. With all the controversy around him, you think you'd remember freaking Squanto's name. <laughs> Squat. <laughs> I'm serious, I went, I went like full Doki on my friends when I was looking at this list. Final Fantasy 3? Bruh. Final Fantasy 3, Secret of Mana, Contra 3, Kirby's Dream Course, play as a golf ball. <laughs> He tried to tackle me, what a fucking idiot. Kirby Superstar, Castlevania oh, Flower, Kirby Super Su Punch Out, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. No, dude, Kirby Superstar is like the best one. I know, right? You can play as Eyeball, play as Eyeball 2. No, Waddle you... D, Waddle don't. <laughs> Waddle, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. 
Waddle, do whatever you want, man. They have Yo-Yo Rocket Fire Electric oh, no. again. Dude, Yo-Yo is so fun in that game. Oh, I love Yo-Yo. You have like all these. It's like my favorite like, power. Yeah, like he does all these break dancing moves. Like you can do a spin and then like he lands and like right? psh, puts his hand in his cap. I'm like, oh, it's so cool. I know. Oh my god. That's, this was me at work today. I was seriously. This episode is just called SNES hype. Please. Yoshi's fucking island. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, play as Yoshi. He's got a baby. Play as historic. No, just kidding. You're a fucking dinosaur. Play as, play as dinosaur again. <laughs> play, play as dinosaur. All the colors yellow, brown, bl brown too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> light blue, dark blue, black, white. No, that's a colorful game. I Right? Yoshi's Island is like just rainbows. That's one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, it is so good. Soundtrack. Whenever I play the game, I'm like. It is perfect. I notice every game we talk about, we always say soundtrack. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no, definitely. I mean, Earthbound soundtrack. That's, a, that's an, here's an interesting thought. I will forgive a lot of like bad game design and like suboptimal gameplay if a game has a good soundtrack. Literally, Earthbound. And yeah, yep. <laughs> and good like aesthetics, you know, like good art, good mm. fucking uh, what atmosphere. Has, what game has good art but but bad gameplay? Can you think of Earthbound? <laughs> What? No, 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 no. It's not I bad. I don't think the game looks that good, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're definitely right. It's definitely the soundtrack that works with that game. I like, what I like about Earthbound is like, you can't replicate it if that makes any sense. Oh, no, it's, it's just so weird. It's like, not even that, like, you know, like, okay, Undertale, you know, comparable to Earthbound. Like, it's soundtrack. It's the true sequel. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm just saying, like, it has the same likeness, but like, the soundtrack is like, so, like, Time, oh. I don't know if timeless is the right word, but like all the references no, it to is old famous music. That and it's also fucking obtuse. Like obtuse, it's longer no, than ninety degrees. No, like it's it's so out there. But like okay, here's an like when I do background music for videos. All right. I use like for my new stuff. I use um video game music, but like sometimes the weirdest stuff gets copyright stricken on YouTube. Like, I remember once when I did uh, Yu-Gi-Oh content. Hold on, are you, dude, you have a Chikorita, why are you- I know, I'm about, I, was, I was about to switch. <laughs> so, I just noticed the gameplay because I've been screaming at my phone talking about Sega Genesis, Sega, the, uh, Super Nintendo for the oh, Dreamcast. No, okay, okay, but when I make old, for the Yu-Gi-Oh content I used to make. Right. I would use video game soundtracks. And it's like something like Shantae music, like from more recent games, like Pirate Curse, doesn't get hit. Fucking Superstar Saga music got a copyright strike. I'm like, are you kidding me? Wow, so okay. what I what I do now is like I just download like a MIDI and then just like remix like a simple remix just for like background music, right? Okay. So like I've you know I've done like like I use Animal Crossing music a lot because it's very simple, relaxing. And like I download it, it's like very simple. The MIDI is set up correctly and I can remix it really quickly and mm -hmm. it's fine. But like. For the, my summer update video, I downloaded the summers theme from Earthbound. Oh, so it's, good. It, but it's like, it is, but like, oh my god, it's like offbeat all the pl places and like all these. I'm like, man, they were like on drugs when they made that soundtrack, but it's good. But it works. No, it does, but it's like, Absolutely. it's that's what I'm saying. It's so obtuse that it's like, it's impossible to replicate it. I agree. Yeah. It's it's timeless. I love everything. I love all the, like, the cultural references and stuff, but it's also like a good game. It's so weird. I love... The I don't want to think about it because I might just orgasm, but... But the interesting thing is, like, it's basically, it's a Japanese, like, developer, creative team, trying to, like, make a stereotypical America setting. <laughs> that's so true. That's what it is. It's, I know. It's, 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 I mean, it's, it's called Eagle... What's it called? Eagle, Eagle Land? Land. It's actually... Yeah. The, that's the tr the name they gave to the trope of that, which is, like, the stereotypical America, like, American rose-cheeked boy, you know, eating a hamburger and, you know, riding a scooter. <laughs> Scrubbing through the trash cans. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it's called. If you look it up on TV Trope, it's called Eagle Land. Yeah, and then there's also a point where I was like, oh, was it? I remember I was just screaming about some game, and my, my, my manager just come up, like, my head manager comes up to me, and he's like, yeah, I played that once, it was all right. You see the, the missing part of that sprite? Well, it's not missing, it's just, like, white. For, it's like, just shine. shine. That's what I like about these graphics. Like, they don't actually have, like, lights and darks, it's just, like, it's white. Yeah. Like, it's just like, if it's dark, it's dark. If it's white, it's light. That's all they did with the original, like, Kensuke Mario. I think we talked about this. Yeah, episode. yeah, yeah. But, like, it makes it... That was, that was I like a... That. I love that in art, to be honest, when people use whites as lights instead. I think there was a extra credits episode I was watching where they were talking about how, like, retro stuff, um, you sort of get, like, more attachment to, like, older, like, sprites and stuff like that. And it's like, there was, um... And people were like, why do people, um sort of long for like retro style like more simple styled games like this and like one of the things i saw in the comments which i thought was sort of interesting why is it level four this guy's a fucking pussy um 
I like how he's like shaking his hand, like, you date kids, get off oh, my lawn. Oh, get off of my lawn. What do you think you're doing stealing my design, but take it off your hands? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, um, people were saying that, like, it's sort of like reading, like, a book and, like, your mind fills in the blanks. Like, with older sprites, they didn't have as much to work with, so I had to do the most they could with what they had. I but, like, like your mind fills in the blanks. It, so like, like if it, you it see like these, cre- it, cr- it promotes imagination. Yeah, and like like the what what you think of is gonna be better than anything that they could, they could possibly actually make. You know, the same way as like in a book, you picture it, and like a movie would never, you know, the movie of the book never lives up to your expectations in your head. That's so true. Yeah, every book and every movie. And so like it's a little different when you see like the sprites like this, but like one of the overworld sprites when they're only like um, I think sixteen by sixteen or something like That's that. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Or like I think it's thirty two. Totally. I don't know. Whatever, but small. Small. Yes, they're they're small sprites. Mm-hmm. So like they don't have a lot to work with. But like you can still see like okay, this is supposed to be a mouth. This is supposed to be an eye. Like, and your yeah. mind fills in the blanks. He doesn't even have pupils. I just noticed that. Yeah, it's just white. Oh gosh, he's like he's possessed. He's Super Saiyan. <laughs> oh boy. Oh! That, that was the yellow from the Super Saiyan. Oh! And then his next form is just him in a wheelchair because he's paralyzed now. I need to stop. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> so bad. I love it though. Oh. I'm That's how I always imagined it as a kid. I'm gonna switch to Seth Rogen and fucking KO this guy. This fool. <laughs> he also like he looks like he's got like wrinkles. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean he's an old man. He's a little old man's head with like oh. grew arms out of his ears. Oh. <laughs> oh, do you know what uh, defense curl does? It does two things. Do you know what they are? Uh, raises defense. And? Uh, no. What's the other one? Doubles the power of rollout. Oh yeah yeah I knew that. Isn't that weird? Yeah it's a combo. Yeah. They had those in these games, it was weird. Yeah, but this was the first game they had that, right? Oh. Uh, I don't think yeah. Red and Blue didn't. Red and Blue was just like, you use Tackle, good job. In this one... Actually, in the original, do they have it where if you use Dig and then you get hit by Earthquake, it did like more damage? In in Red and Blue, Dig was just like, it was like an automatic like miss to anything really, except Swift. Swift could attack any Pokemon no matter where they were, it was weird. So oh, even if they're, yeah, if they're flying, I remember that. Um, or yeah, if they're... No, this game had, yeah, this game had weird stuff. So, like, dig, if you use dig, you take double damage from Earthquake. Um, if you use fly and they Thunder, use... right? Thunder hits Pokemon using fly and if you use Twister. Oh, I didn't know Twister. That's Maybe Gust as well, but I know Twister for sure. It hits Pokemon that are flying, which is weird. And then it wasn't until next gen for rain and drought, right? Well, not abilities, but, like, this this game had weather. Did this what thing have the weather thing where Thunder... Jump goes up to 100% accuracy yep. and a. Hey. There was actually a glitch in uh, Diamond and Pearl where if you use Thunder in a rainstorm, it had a 30% chance to go through Protect. What the fuck? It was so it's so it becomes like ultra accurate. Yeah, and like Blizzard could go through like Protect and Hailstorm. Wow, it was crazy. Yeah, no, that's that's why I always liked in um. When I was a kid, and I played Sapphire and I caught Kyogre. It's like he had Drizzle, and he learns Thunder. And I'm like, oh, as a kid, I was like, oh my god, I broke the game. It's over. All right, next time we should talk more about that. Yeah. Also, like Water Spout, like Water oh, Spout. Gosh, it's like base so one, broken. base one fifty, and then my Kyogre's Water type as well. So it's you know stab move. Yep. Plus, at full health, it does more damage because of its effect. Well, I mean, it's base one fifty at full health. Oh yeah. Okay. Best. That yeah. plus stab attack, plus it's raining, and then I had him holding Mystic Water, <laughs> and it was like death. You just waterboarded every Pokemon. Right. Oh Did you my god. Your Kyogre Isis. <laughs> Did you? No, Isis wasn't a thing then. You couldn't just. It was Osama bin, bin then. Osama Finn then. Kyogre Bin Laden. 